Hi, I'm Chris from CodeReviewVideos.com and in this video we're continuing on with our tested wallpaper upload implementation. Towards the end of the previous video, we saw that we had some interesting issues with PHP spec when we were trying to look at using either a mocked version of the uploaded file or using the real implementation but with some fake values. We saw that in either case, we were coming afoul of the way PHP expects anything that extends SPL file info to behave. And this seemed to put a major blocker on actually writing our tests. Now I said in that video how we have to follow a guiding principle of PHP spec, which is to do not mock what we do not own. And as we saw, we neither own the lifecycle event args nor the uploaded file. Now if we look at the uploaded file and take a look right at the top here, we can see that class uploaded file extends file. And if we follow that through, file extends SPL file info, and SPL file info is the base class. And this presents a bit of a problem because there's no interface here. All we have is a concrete implementation of uploaded file. Now PHP spec will actually help us massively if we can get to a point where we have an interface. Because what that will do is completely remove the need for PHP spec to give any consideration at all to the underlying implementation. Which is to say, we can have a very fake way that an uploaded file or just a file in general behaves and then we could have the real implementation which is just a different implementation of the same interface. So what we're going to do is get rid of the concept of an uploaded file altogether and instead what we're going to do is we're going to have the concept of a file interface which doesn't exist yet in our project so we'll just say that is a file making sure it's put in the comma there and you can see file interface it's not liking that at all. If we go up here though, we can get rid of the unwanted use statement, but we'll add our own in and we'll say use at bundle and we'll say this is in the model, a directory called model which doesn't yet exist and we'll say file interface lives inside that directory. So what this will do is allow PHP spec to look for that particular location, realize it doesn't exist and it should hopefully prompt us to create that. Okay, so we don't really need to do very much more than that. We just need to make sure that we're setting the right file. And we'll just rerun the test. So we'll do a PHP vendor bin PHP spec. We're in the spec directory at bundle event. And then it's the only one in there. So I'm just going to hit return a few times. And oopsie, I've missed out the run. Let's pop run in there. Okay. So it's saying our collaborator does not exist. So this file interface does not exist. Would you like me to generate it for you? Yes, I really would. You just made my life so much easier. Okay. So let's see what that's given us. It's command one on a Mac there to bring up the sidebar. And it's created us this model directory with a file interface. It's even an interface. It's not a class. Jolly lovely. Although it's not really a test in any way. So I'm just going to move that across to the opposite group just to keep things nice and streamlined as far as I like to work. Okay, so let's jump back here, clear that off and just rerun the test and see where we get. So now we're actually getting quite a bit further. We're seeing that this move does not work. At least we're not getting anything around this horrible file is not a file nonsense that we were seeing in the previous video. Well, it doesn't work because we don't even have it uncommented. So let's just think about this a little bit. We're getting to this point now. If we're at this point, then we're going to have this entity as we saw in our untested approach. So we could do something like file equals event args, get the entity. And on that entity, we could get the file. Now we're not getting the auto completion because PHP Storm is not aware of what this entity will be. So maybe we can add that knowledge in. We could say event args get entity. We'll just pop this into a variable called entity. We'll add a new entity up here, which takes the outcome of that statement. And then here we can just get rid of that bit and just say entity. And again, it's not really picking up yet. So we need to tell it using at var. And then in this case, entity will be an instance of wallpaper. So now inside the file mover move, the arguments can be file and then something. So we control the interface at this point. So we can pretty much tell it to be whatever we want. So we, we know we need to get the temporary location and we need to get the new location. So let's just add that knowledge in and see where we get. So we're going to say get the existing file path and then from the file, get the new file path. And we'll need to add these onto the interface. And the other one, get new file path. Just drop that on as well. Okay, let's see where we get. Okay, so it looks like we've got ourselves a new error. And what it's saying now is that it's seeing this call being made this call to the file mover move, but it's not matching up with what we expect to have been called. Okay, but remember, if we control the interface, like we do here, we can just mock out what should be returned. So we'll say, when get new file path, 
or we'll start off with the existing file path, I suppose, as that's the way it's going to come in our implementation. We'll just return the fake temp path, and when get new file path is called, we will simply return the fake real path. Let's try again. And this one's a little bit more confusing, honestly. So if we look, it says no calls have been made that match. Looks very similar to the error that we were getting before. And so what on earth could be the problem here? So there's an interesting thing that we're doing here. We've got this file interface, which we're using as our mock. We have no underlying implementations of file interface at the moment. We have Symfony's uploaded file, which as we've seen, doesn't have any interface. And then we've created the concept of a file interface onto which we've basically made up some stuff. We've made up these couple of methods. And as I say, we don't yet have an implementation. So how on earth is this even working? As surely when we pass around this file inside here, we're going to call these methods against something. So that's a little bit confusing in my opinion. Now what's happening here as best I understand it is that when we mock our file interface, we can create a sort of a fake temporary implementation of this for PHP spec to use. And the way it does this is to use the underlying prophecy library. So prophecy is the underlying mocking framework behind PHP spec. And so we can make it create one of these fake instances for us by getting the wrapped object, which as I say, on an interface is really quite bizarre because the really, it seems, shouldn't be a wrapped object as it's just an interface. Anyway, so we're gonna call get wrapped object. And what that's gonna do is underneath in prophecy, it's going to reveal, which is going to create us like a temporary or fake implementation of this interface. And by doing that, our implementation should see this as a real implementation, which then should be able to get back the existing values that we have set up in fake manner. So let's try it. And we have a passing test. So there's one other thing that we could do here. We could make sure that this should return true because that is the primary assertion of our test. Let's try it again. And we're still getting a pass. Now, I totally appreciate that this get wrapped object thing just sort of feels like we're stepping up the difficulty of what we're doing quite significantly. So here's a little tip that I'm going to give you. Just try adding this if you ever get stuck and just see if that makes your tests pass. And if it does make your tests pass, then at that point you have some sort of context in your head as to why. And so when you start looking into get wrapped object, it may make a little bit more sense.